All right, so let's get started with our washi. I got it going. So what I'm going to do actually, just to make it super, super easy on myself is, and the spacing and everything, is I'm not gonna worry about getting it straight to the edge like I normally do. What I'm gonna do is just go a little bit over the side. See what I'm saying? Bam. For this one. So this way I don't have to worry about bubbles either. I don't have to worry about keeping it straight. Granted, we all know it's something I don't normally do. But I just put it to the area. I mean, get it flush and get it going. Bam. There we go. And, but here's the kicker. Now when I do this side, I actually have to get it as flush as possible. Because... We're doing like a continuation so everything flows and works together. But as you can see, that's just as easy. <laughs> All right, I need to relax. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off. Bam. And now we're going to go ahead ah, with. I'm gonna cut this off, this side off. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna go ahead with my days. So you see, that looks cute and all spring-like. So let me just find. Here we go. And I'm going just above the name, as per usual. As per usual. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really loving these colors. Just kind of thinking what I want to do on the bottom. That's why I didn't do it yet. So just what really is my focus going to be for this last row? Or do I even want to do anything for the last row? I don't know. So I'm just contemplating right now. All the way across on the bottom you know what I've never done the bottom where I just stop I've always gone all the way across so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on the black line because like I said I've never I've always gone all the way across yeah that's uh different so I'm gonna go right on the black line. Bam. There we go. All right. I like it. Yeah, I really like it. That definitely turned out just as wonderful as I thought it would. So what does that mean? That means it's sticker time. That means it's sticker time. And for my stickers, I'm going to use my fave stickers from my Create 365. And I also have my sticker collection and my watercolor collection that I'm thinking about dipping and dabbing in. But of course, the face collection will... Um, be the go-to or the primary that I'm going to use. So I did find this one here. It says 
courage is grace under pressure. Ha ha. So I'm going to put that down in this area. Courage is grace under pressure. I like that. All right. So what I do want to add are the um the noted, the top priorities, the don't forget. Because you know I love putting those in here. I haven't done that in a little minute. So I'm going to do it now. If I could get the sticker off my finger. Oh no, this one's crooked. Okay, there we go. Woo! Okay. All right, it's because I'm like, it just may be just a tad bit easier. Just to turn the thing to the side. Alrighty. And noted. Oh gosh. All right. And then I have top priority. Note to self. And I think I want to put a reminder. Bam. Okay. So there we have those little. Um. I want to put a prayer list up at the top. Um, besides, I want to use this, but I do want to do a prayer list. I don't want to put, there we go. Well, actually, it's just a tab or two far over. So let me go a little too further down. There we go. There we go. Um, I'm going to use this one. It says, commit your work unto the Lord. Um, normally I put it at the top. I'm actually going to put it right here this time. Something different. I think we're just like on some dare to be different. And what I'm doing, I'm just flipping through. See, so, you now I can put this up here. Which totally works with everything that we're doing. Oh, look at this. Praise him that matches with my washi. There we go. My nice little yellow, yeah. Um, let me just see. I'm trying to figure out. What I want to put in. Oh, well, here's another one that matches with the washi. And it says, encourage someone today. Which is a wonderful, nice reminder. I'm going to put that right here. Oh. I like this sticker. It says, axe, seek, knock. And it's never a bad idea to have some love. And I like this be present today. And I have these two. This one says, be still and know. And this one, joy begins with gratitude. I think we are good. I'm granted I'm gonna, still going to look, but... <laughs> I found a bloom because you know we have the grow already. We have a grow up here, so I definitely want to use this bloom. Hmm. Where to put it? Ah, 
Actually, yeah, I think we are done with stickers. When I find one that I like and I can't really see space to put it, we're done with stickers. Okay. So we are done with stickers. I mean, granted, I love what I have going on. I actually don't. I want to put, I know. I'd rather put the bloom up there. This one doesn't necessarily go with our colors, to be honest. Right. Over bloom. Yeah, it doesn't. So I'm just gonna put it like where I got it from. In my sticker book. Which truthfully maybe like the third time I've done this with this sticker. So it might be feeling a little unwanted now. But here we are with uh my gratitude planner. I love, love, love the coordination that I was able to do and use and keep going throughout the whole uh, time. So our colors definitely match and work together. So I definitely love that. I have the space I need to write down all the things that I'm grateful for, grateful for sorry, which is the point, of course, of all of this. <sighs> I am really, really proud of myself, you know. Just to give us a little pat on the back. Haha. <laughs> I am. Alright. So we're done for with this. We're done for now. Um yeah, I like it. I really, really like it. So if you have any questions, need any help with anything, definitely feel free to leave me a comment below. If you have any questions about um what to do with the gratitude planner, how to start it, um, things that I use. I'm, none of that. I'm not keeping any of that a secret from anybody. I tell people all the time, you know, how I do my different planners. People even stop me in the stores. Like when they see me shopping, they have questions. I'm there to help. Granted, I don't work there, so I'm not necessarily there to help, but I'm open to helping people with anything that they have questions with. So like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up. You can comment below. You can slide me an email. My email is there. Um, it's plannedonplanning at gmail.com. So you can definitely send me an email. Or, you know, you can hit me up on social media. Hit me in my inboxes. Hit me in my DMs. All of that stuff. I'm always talking to people on social media about um, planning and the different things I do. And answering any questions that they have. Giving me a little inspiration to help them get started. Um, ways to use their planners and things of that nature. Um, so... Until we meet again and until I talk to you on other platforms, I will see you next week. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.